Hello everybody and welcome to my Final Fantasy 15 review. Um, I'm going to be talking about Final Fantasy 15 today. Uh, and just why I love the game so, 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 so much. I don't think I've played it on the channel and that's because it's not really that popular anymore. I mean, come on, it's Final Fantasy 15. Let's get on to Final Fantasy 25 or whatever the fuck. Um, and I just, uh, I just really want to talk about the game. So, here we go. So, I'm going to start this video off by saying I will be cutting it up into basically three parts. Story, combat, and music. The music in this game is amazing. I can't wait to get that part. That's why I'm leaving it for the last. So, I'll leave some chapter marks in the bio so you guys can skip around if you want to come back to it. I don't know how long this video will be. But anyway, let's get right into it. Okay, so while we're here, let's first get into story. The story of Final Fantasy XV follows Prince Noctis and his friends as he embarks on a journey to reclaim his kingdom that has been invaded by the Empire of Niflheim. He discovers he is on a quest to combat the powers of darkness with the powers of light, only the Lucian lineage lineage of kings can wield um all of that is just to say he's here to fuck shit up that's what he's here to do that's what he's going to do that's what we're, we're gonna do we're, we're gonna go with him we're gonna do it too um i love the story in this game with uh okay well let me preface this by saying that uh final fantasy voice actors can they can be a little dull sometimes. Uh, dull, pale. It, this game will definitely get you crying, but it'll also make you laugh with how uh, how the voice actors choose to word certain things. Also, uh, I saw a clip here. Till next time, then. <laughs> uh, you guessed it. Stone search. Just the old telepathy. Yeah, well. Read my mind all you like, but uh, I don't like, did you did you see that? That was why, why? Um, but anyway, with a uh, which not this is going through the story. This is a story of friendship, betrayal, enlightenment, and ultimately sacrifice. With this story, uh, I don't want to spoil too much because I want you guys to go play it. Um. I want you guys to experience it for yourselves but the story is very very much about growth in my opinion in my personal opinion did a very good job the execution however it leaves a leaves a lot to be um to be attained <laughs> i guess that's all i'm gonna say about it but uh yeah but story story wise as long as you can keep up with it, it does get confusing sometimes. Final Fantasy is pretty good. Uh, we'll tell you about some uh, story beats that seems like they're just left in there to kind of get you to explore a little bit. Like, there's one point in the game where it was just like, go do, uh, go ask people some stuff until we get such and such ready. And uh, I don't blame them for it, but uh, I really, I really wet. I'd really rather not have to be forced to go do stuff. I'll do stuff a, a lot of the times. I'll go off the beaten path. I'll do side stories and everything, but I'd rather not be forced to do stuff. I um, also speaking of side stories has a nice segue. Um, the side quests in this game are few and far between. Side quests are not going to be the main drawing point of the game uh really really they're just there for grinding xp like most final fantasy games there are a couple interesting ones but i will tell you most of the time it'll be fetch quests it'll be um something monotonous uh, i love this game to death but uh they do not make it easy to keep playing <laughs> Unless, when you're not hunting something or you're not learning exposition, they do not make it easy 
to uh, to keep going. Okay, so and speaking of hunting, let's get on over to combat. Boom, bam, boom. We're getting to the combat, baby. We're getting to the itty gritty. We're getting to the warp strikes. We're getting to the link strikes. We're getting to the teamwork. Yeah. So we're getting to combat. Combat is the most important thing in just about any game where you have to kill just about everything you see. Uh, the combat in Final Fantasy is very fluid. I love the combat in Final Fantasy. So, Noctis has something called a Warp Strike. It's basically like an ability that lets you teleport across long areas and to hit your enemies with a little bit more power. And it's, it's used in this game wonderfully. I haven't seen anything like it. Um, maybe I have, but I haven't felt anything like it. It's very smooth. Movement is very smooth. And while we're talking about movement, let's talk about teamwork. This game never makes you feel alone. Even when you might want your teammates to set up for a little bit. Uh, they'll keep talking to you. They'll always be talking to you. But I, I love it. You know, I never feel like I'm just truly playing by myself. Uh, so, Nocnus has three best friends that go along with him on this trip. Ignis. Um... The Gladiator, Gladiolus, I think that's how you say his name, Gladiolus, and uh, his best friend Prompto. And they each have their own set of weapons that they personally use. Gladiolus usually uses some type of heavy weapon, dealing with either a shield or a greatsword. Uh, Ignis, the smart one, either uses spells, daggers, or uh, javelins. They can all use spells, but I mostly choose to keep my spells on Ignis. And Prompto can use, you guessed it, guns. No wonder this thing got an American uh, American import. They were really going for an American market with Prompto. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah, that's an American straight up. And with that, they all collide together to make um, kind of a hunting team. Where every battle you go into, you can use different techniques in order to use your friends to full advantage. They can help you when you're low on health. And they can't, Final Fantasy has this thing called a danger system. And a danger system basically means when you run out of health, you slowly use like a second health bar. Like in Fortnite, when you're waiting, when you're down, then you're waiting to get revived. You'll, um, you'll... Either one of your teammates can get you, or if all your teammates die, then game over. Unless you use a Phoenix down. And, um, it's really good, man. It's really fluid. Love the movement. You guys gotta try it. Uh, I'll try to put, I'll put, you know what, put a cl clip up here of some of the fantastic Final Fantasy combat. See, wasn't it awesome? So anyway, I just love the Final Fantasy 15 combat. It's so great. It's so good. And I I want to talk about it more. There's a lot to talk about, but I feel like this is not the right place. And you know, if you do want to see all the Final Fantasy cab combat in galore, you can go check out my Twitch channel, Jada Shogun. Please. Please, I haven't eaten in three days. Please go check out my chip. Now with combat, out of, well, hold on, slow your roll. I have to talk about food. Food, believe it or not, it's very important when it comes to combat in this game. It can provide you buffs. It, it can really be the choice between death and between death and life in this game. Food gives you certain buffs that can vary from a variety of things. It be an XP boost, a health boost, strength boost, vitality boost. I won't get into all the nitty gritty. You can look that up yourself. But uh, it's very important in this game. 
And also, uh, I don't think I'll be able to fit it in later, so I'll talk right here about the Regalia. The Regalia is their mode of transport in Final Fantasy XV. Um, and it's, it's very unique to find a car in a Final Fantasy game, especially one you can just drive around. Uh, that's one thing I really loved. I loved just driving around for hours on end, listening to music. It's great. At one point in the game, I, I won't spoil it here, but you can get something very special for your car to do. So I, I suggest you go out there, get the game, try to find out what secret I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, if you if you find it, just uh, post it on Twitter, Instagram, tag it Jade Shogun, and I'll, uh, I'll probably send you a reply back. Okay, that's enough about combat. Let's get into my favorite subject at least, music. right it's time to talk about music one of the things that can make or break a game and in final fantasy i just gotta say it always makes them the composer for final fantasy this final fantasy in particular was amazing he was making straight fire in the booth i love the music in this game so much and i implore you Please go listen to the OST, even if it's for two minutes. Two minutes, you don't have to watch it anymore. It's done. But I want you to go listen to this OST. The music in this game is so good. The combat music, next level. The atmospheric music, next level. There's never in a moment in this game where you feel like there's dead space. There's always music for when you go to a new area, when you go to a certain place, when you go to the camp, when you go to a town, it's amazing. I implore you, if you play Final Fantasy XV for any reason, please play it for the music. The music is amazing. And this is just coming from a guy off the internet that you barely even know. Who is he? What, what, what does he have to say over what I play? Play this game if even to only hear the music it is life-changing and i'm serious about that one i'll be looking i'll be looking anyways that's gonna be it for the video that's gonna be it for today make sure to follow like and subscribe make sure you follow me on my twitch channel jada shogun um all my socials uh there's a lot about this game that I might have left out, might have forgotten, maybe your favorite parts. Make sure to leave those in the comments below if you feel like there's anything I should have spoke upon. Anyway, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.